Welcome back to JewishTV.media. Today we're going to discuss how to deal with missionaries and not falling into the trap of addressing things which are really not the central issue. You see, when you speak to a missionary, he may come over to you and say to you, Hey, have you read Isaiah 53? Or, who do you think it's speaking about in Zechariah 12.10? Or, who's the son in Isaiah 9, 6? Or, who's the virgin in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14? And so on and so forth. And the mistake is to start engaging with this missionary and try to have a dialogue about what the passage in the Jewish scriptures is actually talking about. Why is it a mistake? The reason why it's a mistake is because the Bible is not really where it's at for the missionary. You see, even if you were to be able to explain and articulate why the missionary has misused a passage in Scripture, wrenched it out of context, and twisted it in order to be able to push his agenda, to push his beliefs, all the missionary will do is say, well, perhaps this one particular passage, you might have a point, but I've got another passage. And then he goes from one to another, Daniel 9, and so on, Daniel 7, and then Psalm 2, and then Psalm 45, and it keeps going, Psalm 110. It never ends, because no matter what you're going to address, they'll always come back at you with another one. What you need to ask them, what you need to ask this missionary is, how did you come to faith in Jesus? What's your story? And once you hear their story, once you hear how they came to believe in Jesus, once they tell you about the real experience that they had, you'll know that's where it's really at. It was their experience that led them to convert to Christianity, to embrace the tenets of Christianity, to accept Jesus into their heart. It was never a passage in Scripture. What happens is they never want to boil it down to some emotional experience that they had. So they use the Bible as a matrix. They use the Bible as some kind of support for what they already believe. However, to mistakenly engage in a debate about a particular passage in Scripture is really walking down the wrong path. You won't get anywhere. So let's take an example. An example would be um, Psalm 41. Psalm 41 is a psalm in which, at some point, the psalmist speaks about being betrayed by a friend who has eaten bread together with him. Now, a missionary will say that this passage is a prophecy about Jesus and about his betrayal by Judas Iscariot. Now, you can talk your head blue and try to explain to the missionary that there's absolutely nothing in this passage, nothing in this psalm that indicates that this is talking about a Messiah or the future king who is being betrayed by a friend. There's nothing in, the, in that chapter that would indicate that this is what it's talking about. And yet the missionary, as far as he's concerned, because Jesus was betrayed by Judas Iscariot, by a close friend, therefore, this passage must be talking about Jesus. And because they already believe that Jesus is the Messiah, therefore, this must be a messianic prophecy. It's called circular reasoning. And the problem with trying to engage with somebody who engages in, in circular reasoning is that you're not going to get anywhere. So save yourself a lot of time and a lot of aggravation and don't fall into that trap. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us.